Hello, my name is Vincent. Um, I am an astronomer. I love sharing the stars with other people. And so that's why I work here at Maripang as their resident astronomer. And once a month I do a star event, um, normally with an after dinner talk. And after that some, some stargazing through large aperture telescopes if the weather is good. And uh, it really is great to come out to a place that's not too far away from the big city. Not so much light pollution and so we can still enjoy the stars out here. Maripeng is um, a place where we study history um, of mankind and go back into ancient times. And when we look through telescopes, we are also using time machines. When you look at the sun, you are looking at the sun um, not as it is now, but as it was eight and a half minutes ago. When we look at the moon, um, as it was one and a quarter seconds ago. There are certain star clusters that we look at that are thousands of light years from us, um, galaxies millions and billions of light years away from us, and so it all ties together um, as part of the history of mankind and of course the history of the Earth and the universe. You know, I've had six-year-olds look through my telescope and maybe they haven't understood everything they've seen, but those memories will last with them and then also I've had some um, very much older people um, looking through this telescope and saying that um, you know, they wish they'd seen that earlier on in their youth. The evening isn't really about science. Um, for instance, large numbers, the moon is 384,000 kilometers away from us and that doesn't really mean much to the common person like you and me. Um, but if I tell you, in order to drive to the moon, and non-stop in a car at 120 kilometers an hour will take you four months and ten days to get there and then you really get the picture. So these are um, more the type of um, techniques that um, I will be using to explain this wonderful universe in which we live.